Hello and welcome to the Bike Century. My name's Ben and today I'm going to be showing you around this absolutely gorgeous Suzuki GSX 1300R Hayabusa. This is a second generation bike um, and I have to say straight off the bat this is an amazing condition. Um, it's a 2007 bike, it's done just over 13,000 miles from new uh, and the previous owner has fastidiously maintained this bike. It's absolutely gorgeous. Relatively unmolested as well, which is hard to find on a Hayabusa these days. Um, and yeah, you just look at it, it's absolutely stunning. Love them or hate them, obviously very distinctive looks. Um, well over 190 brake horsepower, uh, depending on which website you're looking at. Uh, enough torque to tear a hole in the world. Um, and they ride absolutely beautifully. I have to say for a big bike, uh, once you get going, uh, it's as good as any sports tourer that's out there. Uh, very interesting riding position actually because um, you do sit quite far away from the bars but the bars are quite high and it's quite relaxed for a sports tourer uh, despite its looks. Um, it's a fantastic bit of kit and if you've not seen one I urge you to come and have a look at this one. But um, yeah, let's have a look around it. As I say, it's in very, very good condition. So starting at the front, as you'd expect, monumentally huge uh, front discs. So uh, 310 millimeters uh, paired with four pot Takiko brakes. Uh, this particular bike has had some braided hoses fitted, which is a nice modification on a uh, hyper bike like this. I certainly wouldn't expect to see it on its uh, original rubber hoses. Tires are in great condition, um, as is the uh, suspension. There's no pitting or any uh, marks or anything like that on the front suspension, no leakages from the seals. Um, so no naughty wheelies or anything like that been done on this bike. Bodywork wise, as you can see, it's finished in the uh, the burnt orange with the Hayabusa graphics on it, uh, which is complemented by gloss black. No signs of any drops, scrapes, or accidental falls in the garage or anything like that. Even still has the original exhaust on it, which weigh, I have to, I have to say, these must weigh about 14 tonnes, these exhausts. They're absolutely huge. Uh, the only thing really that I think um, could be done better on this bike is the, the exhaust. I mean, I understand the need for originality, but personally, if it was me, I would probably change these and reduce some of the uh, the weight and open up some of that sound. Nonetheless, um, it is good for us to have this bike as standard. Um, as I say, it shows it's not been messed around with. It does have the seat cowl on it as well. Um, also has a braided hose on the back, so much better feel on the back. Massive rear disc on this as well. And there are some paddock stand lifters on the back as well, which helps with these uh, in terms of storage and chain maintenance, etc. So again, just looking at the bodywork, as you can see, it's in very nice condition. Um, it's not a brand new bike, so you know it's not in perfect condition, but um, but you'll struggle to find a better one than this elsewhere, I believe, as you can see. So the only discernible marks that I've been able to find on this bike, there's one small mark just on the end of the uh, mirror here, um, perhaps just brush something as it's been wheeled out of a garage. And there is just a small mark on the inside of the screen just here, but again, not really noticeable. It is an aftermarket screen, so you could put an original back on it if you wanted to, um, but it's all done very, very tastefully. <coughs> Excuse me. Around this side, it's very much the same. Obviously it's a twin disc, so you've got another disc on this side. Um, there's no uh, big bang scrapes or anything like that on this side either. Like with any bike that's got uh, silver heel plates, this bike does have some rubbing on the, uh, the left hand heel plate as you can see. Uh, but again, it's nothing major really, nothing too untoward. And then obviously the standard exhaust on this side as well. Bike comes with all the original owner's manuals, uh, the original keys. Um, it does have the, uh, the clip on here to, uh, to seat a tank bag if you wanted to. I believe the company is Baglux, um, but we'd have to check that for you. As I said, it comes with a couple of keys, um, USB charging ports. It does have these aftermarket filler cap reservo uh, reservoir filler caps. Um, you could replace those with originals if you wanted to. So the previous owner has chosen to put an aftermarket gear indicator on here. Not entirely sure why, but um, it does sit over the rev counter. So if you are the new owner and you want that moved, we can absolutely move it. Although there is a standard one just in the center here. It's probably not as visible as you would like it. Um, maybe that's why he or she has fitted it on there. But nonetheless, let's pull the clutch in and give her a start up for you.
Still a beautiful sounding engine. It's a little bit quiet for my taste, and as I said, maybe you might want to replace the exhaust. Um, if you do, we can offer you a quote, uh, along with any other accessories that you want fitted to the bike. All of our bikes come with free UK delivery. They all come with a three month warranty uh, and a service if it's required uh, to bring the bike up to date. We offer finance and we offer part exchange as well. So if those are things that you're interested in uh, or you've got any general questions about the bike, please feel free to reach out. Uh, we've got WhatsApp, we've got live chat on our website and on Auto Trader. We've got all the social medias and of course you're happy or you're welcome to uh, give us a call or pop into the showroom to have a look, try the bike on the size and enjoy a coffee. That's it for me. Thank you very much for watching and I look forward to speaking to you soon. Take care.